Thank you all for being here with me more here today. In a few days, we will have one of the most important elections of our time. <clears throat> Instead of focusing on the issues, my opponent and his political allies want to divert attention away from this campaign with a false and malicious political attack against my life. Let me be clear. Each and every allegation in this lawsuit relating to me and my wife is false and defamatory. The 11th hour, as the people of Minnesota are preparing to go to the polls in a very important election, a smear campaign has been attempted to try to influence that result. This is absolutely outrageous, and I know that Minnesotans will see it for what it is, sleazy politics, and reject it out of hand. First of all, I appreciate that the majority of the media who have covered this story so far have been thoughtful in raising legitimate questions about these tactics. The easy thing for me to do would be let the news coverage stand on its own and trust that Minnesotans will see through this, that Minnesotans deserve more. When politics crosses an ethical line, we have to stand up and call it out for what it is. Let me tell you how this arose. This is not about public documents researched by an investigative reporter. No. Sometime last week, even before this Texas lawsuit was originally filed, a copy of false allegations were delivered in Minnesota in an unmarked envelope to two Minneapolis Star and Tribune reporters. I want to repeat that. Sometime last week, even before this Texas lawsuit was originally filed, in Minnesota, an unmarked envelope to two Minneapolis Star Tribune reporters. And on Monday of this week, my opponent began running vicious, untrue ads, attacks, which the media, by the way, called these attack ads false. False. That same day, some person in Texas, unknown to me or my wife, follows the lawsuit with these same allegations given to the reporters a week earlier. Within hours, that lawsuit was withdrawn. Then yesterday morning, my campaign filed a legitimate lawsuit against Al Frank and his campaign for violating the state's fair campaign laws. Before you know it, we learned that this false and malicious lawsuit had been refiled in Texas. Now the Frank and campaign's allies are trying to use it for political advantage. So today I'm calling for an end to these personal malicious attacks these unfounded 11-hour attacks. This is not how we do campaigning in Minnesota. I hope Minnesotans will join me in holding my opponent and his political allies accountable for this. A few weeks ago, I took down my negative ads to put a more positive focus on the issues of the day. That approach has been emphatically rejected by Mr. Franken. Minnesotans want to know what kind of senator Al Franken would be. Watch his campaign this last week. See how he's attacked my family, my wife, and my reputation. My message to him, to his political allies, and anyone else who intends to attack my wife and my family in the remaining days of the, of the campaign is this, get out of the gutter. My wife has been devastated by this. She turns on her computer and reads on the blog the most personal, vicious attacks, impugning her integrity and trying to destroy her ability to do her job. She's angry. She has a right to be. And so am I. This is the kind of 11th hour sleazy attack the people of Minnesota are sick and tired of. This is not the Minnesota way. And I know the people of Minnesota. And this will backfire. If my opponents have any shred of decency left in them in the course of this campaign, stop attacking my family. I'll take a couple of questions. Senator Coleman, so are you saying that the premise of this lawsuit is so critical? If the premise of this lawsuit is the tax on me and my family are absolutely false, absolutely false and defamatory. So the plaintiff, uh, in a sworn statement, made these allegations that he would be a guilty of perjury. If he's guilty of defamation, he's leveled to false attacks. I don't know. I can just tell you that the allegations regarding me and my wife in this <coughs> suit are false and defamatory. No question about that. There was never any money received, according to the story that's 
you ran technology funnel money your campaign? Absolutely, absolutely false. My campaign will be issuing a fuller statement about this. But I want to make that very clear. Those allegations are absolutely false. Will he be filing a suit then? First, I got an election to run. And this is not about lawsuits. As I said before, these, these allegations were handled, were delivered, and they, they were delivered in an unmarked envelope a week before the lawsuit. Texas allegations delivered in Minnesota to Minneapolis Star Tribune reporters a week before. And then this thing pops up now four days before an election. <clears throat> I'm, I'm focusing on an election. I'm not focusing on litigation. I've been out there work. This is, I don't know, my 75th city that I've been to, and how many times I've been to Minnesota, and more than countless times. I'm focusing on the election. I'll let others focus on this, but, but again, I wanted to make it very, very clear that this is false in the Did you have uh, some kind of action uh, involving the ads? Uh, yeah, we, we have, and then it's interesting. The ads. Uh, we filed an action against the ads in, in, in which Al Franken uh, talks about me and, and, and corruption, things that are absolutely false, and I, I think the media analyzed those and said they were false. No basis for that. Was that in the court or is that with the election? I think it was the FTC, really, the commission. So that's what you got. It. His campaign in these, in these 11th hours are left with personal attacks that the media has looked at instead of false. Uh, and then comes up with, with this, the 11th hour. This, this arises, and I just want to make it very clear. We've got an election in three days. I know Minnesotans. I know Minnesotans. They will reject this, see for what it is. These are sleazy campaign tactics that pop up three days before an election. Uh, and uh, I'm very confident that Minnesotans reject this. This is not the way that we campaign in Minnesota. Sorry, are you saying that, that the Franklin campaign or the Democratic Party is a specific involvement in this Texas lawsuit? I'm saying that a week before this Texas lawsuit is filed, these same allegations appear in an unmarked envelope to reporters in, in, in Minnesota. That's what I'm saying. Uh, and then you figure out who it is. Is there enough time to direct to it? Yeah. I, I, can, I'll, I would say, Mr. Franken, is that clearly folks who have an interest in this election, have an interest in him winning and me losing, are dropping off before a lawsuit is filed. Allegations that are absolutely false and defamatory in unmarked envelopes and dropping them off to reporters in Minneapolis. I, I, I think that that speaks for itself. And my campaign will uh, respond more fully. I just wanted to make it clear. I didn't want there to be any question about what we're dealing with here. And I think I've made it very, very clear. Sir, did Massive Housing Unions at issue in this case ever buy you clothing at Neiman Marcus? <laughs> Uh, we'll just take yeah. questions. Yeah. And, and I've, I've answered that too, by the way. Yeah. Again, 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 false, again, false allegations. Same thing. False allegations being used for personal attacks, and that's not the way you campaign. So, but did he or did he not I have, pay I have for your clothing, sir? You never directly is, said whether he did or did not pay for your clothing, sir. I have very directly said. Answer I have, no. I have answered. And the answer is the answer is no. He that's never has paid. Has not bought these suits. Okay, so Thank people you. who see you getting fitted at Neiman Marcus for clothing and then it being cashed in on on national this, 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 this is this is Mr. Lying. Franken. This is Mr. Franken's campaign. I'm not false Mr. Franken's campaign. False unsubstantiated or his supporters. They, I don't even they, know Al Franken. Well, I'm you. False unsubstantiated allegations which the DFL and others have used. And this is that. This case, this this race is not about that. This race is not about what we're dealing with Mr. today Coleman. and what we're dealing with. It's about false, malicious attacks, and they will be rejected by the people of Minnesota. I would like I to see you sue everyone who said this. So <laughs>